Everyone is amused at Trump's upcoming appearance on SNL. There is a growing chorus of voices protesting his hosting uh, the show Saturday. One of the loudest voices, California Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez, a senior member of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus. She joins me along with Matt Wilstein, entertainment writer for the Daily Beast. So to, to both of you, welcome. And uh, Congresswoman, let me just uh, begin with you. Uh, what, what specifically uh, are you and other members of Congress, you know, asking of in NBC or SNL or Lauren Michaels? So um, SNL has uh, had plenty of presidential candidates on before. The problem is that they're allowing Donald Trump the entire time. They're asking him to, he's going to host this. And that hasn't happened in the past by a presidential candidate. And we believe that it's an affront to Latinos in particular, Mexicans and Mexican Americans, uh, my parents, um, in particular because of all of the negative things that Donald Trump has said about us. But, but doesn't Saturday Night Live Congresswoman have a right to book, whether it's one little sketch and Hillary Clinton making a cameo or Donald Trump for the entire hour and a half, you know, have a right to book Donald Trump just as you certainly have a right to speak up and not tune in? Well, in the same way that I believe in free speech and the First Amendment, you're correct from that standpoint, except for you're not allowed to go into an auditorium and yell fire, fire, fire. And in the same way, I believe it's up to SNL to understand that when they put a Donald Trump in front of people and he says these type of derogatory comments, that has a direct relationship to what is happening out in everyday lives of Latinos. For example, back in June when in Boston um, a, a Hispanic male was beat up almost to the point of death and uh, the person who beat him up said to uh, the police, well, you know, Donald Trump is right. These illegal aliens are just not supposed to be here. So it, it's very detrimental as we try to hold our community together and they try to move along in the normal course of American life to have an instigation of that type um, against us. Uh, Matt, I promise I'm coming to you, but let me just follow up with that because I, I know a lot of people, Congresswoman Sanchez, absolutely agree with you. Although I did speak with uh, a Latina woman just recently who is, you know, would disagree with you coming from within the community. She loves some Donald Trump. This was Miriam Witcher. I'm Hispanic and I vote for Mr. Trump. We vote for Mr. Trump. Yes, Mr. Trump. He's our man sent from heaven. He's a very, very beautiful human being, beautiful heart, a lot of love and compassion. Um, if you can read or hear about the charities he's doing, this is something touch my heart. I realize that is one woman's opinion, but she is a big Donald Trump supporter, and I wondering though with you know the Congressional Hispanic Caucus making you know very very frustrated over you know NBC having Donald Trump that you are actually going to t have people tune in I can imagine people at SNL loving this right now well uh, I happen to like this and I'll show uh, quite honestly I don't stay up that late I'm either working or I'm already <laughs> you know you got better things to, to do gone, gone to sleep um, so over the years but uh, certainly there have been some times when SNL and its skits have gone overboard um, but in particular, we are upset that Mr. Trump is hosting this rather than just being a skit. It is enabling him after he has said these derogatory comments. And NBC Universal said to us early on, we're not going to stand for this. So we are simply pushing back at SNL and saying, uh-uh, this is not correct, and you are endangering Latinos when you do this type of a thing. Okay. And that's our concern. Our concern okay. is about people living their everyday lives and trying to be good Americans.